vlogger, YouTuber, you need to watch the Sony ZV-1 unboxing. Not a vlogger, YouTuber, or content creator? No worries, because the new Sony ZV-1 digital camera is great for anyone who has a compact, travel-friendly camera. Hey, it's Deborah with Traveling Well for Less. Today, I have an unboxing video on the Sony ZV-1. But wait, if you're a cool tech geek, or if you live outside the United States, you call this camera the Sony ZV-1. Either way, it's the coolest, newest, small camera out there. And so today, we're gonna unbox it. Let's take a look. The Sony ZV-1 came out in May and is designed for vlogging. All the marketing is geared to content creators, but you can still get this camera if you aren't a vlogger or content creator. In fact, I shoot video and I love taking pictures and I don't consider myself a vlogger. I rented it for a week and afterwards I was like, oh my God, the Sony ZV-1 is kind of cool. I need one. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. The ZV-1 box. Oh, you can buy the camera individually for $748 or you can buy the creator bundle which comes with a camera, a hand grip, and a memory card for $848. Pro tip, save money, buy the bundle. If you think you might want the hand grip, buy it as a bundle because then the hand grip is only $100 and you get the memory card. Whereas you buy the hand grip separately, it's $138. So let's look in the Sony ZV-1 box. You had a couple of papers, no manual though. You can download one from the Sony website. Ooh, look at this. It comes with the Sony NP-BX1 battery, the same battery used in the Sony RX107 cameras and other Sony RX cameras. A USB to micro USB charging cord. Oh, but a wall charger is not included, so you have to buy one. Oh, and a tiny dead cat. Not a real dead cat if you're listening and not actually watching, but a fuzzy fake fur microphone windshield, otherwise known as a wind muff. Um, the dead cat cold shoe attaches to the Sony ZV-1 hot shoe on top of the camera. With the Sony ZV-1, you don't need to use the dead cat. The audio is fantastic with or without it. So, the moment you've been waiting for, Sony ZV-1 unboxing, ta-da! Oh, I probably should have said ta-da afterwards. Whatever. Oh my God, it's so tiny. That's why after I rented it, I said, I need to get this for reference. You see the palm of my hand? You see this camera? The Sony ZV-1 is a small, compact camera. And yes, size matters. That's why I love my Sony A6000, which I'm filming with right now, because it fits in my purse. And this camera can also fit in my purse or pocket. I love that it's small and you will too. Even though it's designed for vloggers and content creators, it's a perfect travel camera because it is so small, handy, and compact. It's also pretty light. Ah, that's probably because this body, including the grip, is made from plastic. What makes the Sony ZV-1 different from other cameras is the flip-out screen. You can turn the screen to face you like this, and the side flip out screen is really handy for vlogging or if you wanna capture stuff for social media. You can also turn the flip screen around the other way so you can cover and keep it protected. I'm not really sure why it arrived with the screen facing out. Maybe for branding? The Sony ZV-1 has a 20.1 megapixel sensor and comes with an attached Zeiss 24 to 70 millimeter f1.8 to 2.8 lens. The lens is fixed. One lens for the life of your camera. Kind of like a marriage. But if you're like me, sometimes you need a second take. A couple neat features of this camera is that it has eye detection, great bokeh, image stabilization, it shoots 4K video, 
has this beauty effect that's basically like photoshopping your face and removing wrinkles and smooths out your skin. Um, it has product showcase, which when you put something in front of the camera like this, it quickly focuses in on that image. There's no time lapse or any kind of delay. It also has slow motion, time lapse, and a bunch of other cool features that you can see in the review video. On the side of the camera, there's a jack port, a multi port, and an HDMI port. The battery compartment is on the bottom of the camera. It doesn't look like it's weather sealed. The SIM card slot is in the battery compartment. The internal built mic is fantastic and you have the option to use included dead cat, but you can add another microphone or hook up a lab mic. <laughs> What's neat about the Sony ZV-1 flip screen is that when you connect the dead cat, it's not gonna block your view as it would if you had a screen that only flips up. Let's unbox the hand grip. This is the Sony GP VPT2BT hand grip shooting grip with wireless remote commander. Try saying that fast 10 times. Oh my gosh, there's so much paperwork. It's like a novel. It also comes with a microfiber cloth pouch and a battery. Pro tip, it's weather sealed. You connect your hand grip to your Sony ZV-1 or any applicable Sony uh, camera via Bluetooth when you pair it with the camera. When it's connected, you can take photos just by pressing the photo button or record by pressing the movie button. You can zoom in or zoom out by pressing forward or backward on this toggle switch. And the C1 button is your custom preset. You can adjust the angle by turning the knob and pressing the button so you can hold it straight or bend it a little if you want to get those, hey, look at me shots, or you can change your shooting direction. It's kind of a neat feature. The hand grip also converts to a mini tripod. You can set it down and film yourself or other unboxing videos. I filmed our Ruvati Sync unboxing when I rented this camera. We bought a Sprinter van last year and we, Jeff, has been converting it into a camper van. I've been filming what I can of the build, but Jeff doesn't like to be on camera, at least not yet. One thing I'm not sure I like is that the camera turns on automatically when you attach the battery. Nice that it switches on automatically when you flip out the screen, but also bad because it turns on automatically and will run down the battery. So you have to decide for yourself if you, you will like this feature. So remember to hit that like button and subscribe. For this unboxing video, I was not sponsored in any way. Sony did not send me or loan me a camera and I paid for the Sony ZV-1 with my own money. Thanks for watching my Sony ZV-1 ZV-1 unboxing. Make sure you watch the review, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. The Sony ZV-1 has a 20.1 megapixel. <laughs>